Hey, what's up, nerds? How's everybody doing today? Hopefully, everybody's having a good day. Hopefully, uh, everybody's holiday season is going well. I'm going to be doing a head shave today. I've got about four, four days growth. That last shave I did was on Monday. It's now Friday, so my beard's coming in. I got some gray down here that's new, but beard's coming in nice. I've got about uh, five more days to let it grow out, so, and then I'll be doing a shave video, shaving it off, but doing a head shape today and I'm using a new product that I, I've never used before. It's the Nivea Men Sensitive Shaving Cream. So this will be my first time using it. And uh, I got this at the <clears throat> Wet Shave Meetup. So I'm going to squeeze a healthy amount out onto the end of my finger. Hopefully that's enough. And I'm just going to rub it right onto the top of my head here. And we're just going to lather it right in and go get a little more this may be way too much might not be enough don't know I've never used this um, and I've never seen anybody do I, I people may have done a head shave video using this before I've just haven't seen one so not saying it's not out there just I haven't seen it yet so um, all right I got my maggards 30 millimeter tuxedo knot Get some water in that, shake it out, and we'll start lathering. So hopefully everybody's doing well, hopefully everybody's been enjoying uh, this holiday season, whatever you do to celebrate, hopefully you're enjoying it and having fun. I know my kids today, uh, they had a half day of school, so they got out early, they're home now. And uh, they don't have to go back till after the new year, so they're excited to have some days off, and it'll be fun because I get I have a few more days off of work before I have to go back in on the 27th. So we get to just have fun hanging out as a family, everybody home, relaxing, watching some Christmas movies, you know, and just kicking back, relaxing. This is uh, lathering up really easy, really well. For me, creams can be really hit or miss. Sometimes I can have good success with one and they'll lather up well, perform well. And it seems like other times they can uh, leave you wanting a little bit, but. Yeah, this is going nice and I probably, I don't know, we'll see. I might have put a little too much on, but I'd rather have a little too much than not enough. <clears throat> when it comes to this. And the scent is really, really soft, um, really mild, not a strong scent, but just a nice, clean <clears throat> scent and it's the the sensitive shaving cream and down here it says no drying alcohol so we'll see how post shave fill is um yeah we'll see how post shave fill does lathered up well so we will go with that and what I'm using today is the Maggard's open comb with the Astra Superior Platinum Blade in it and uh, I'm going to try going cross grain again and then against the grain, see how that does. Um, I 
with this. And the Astra definitely um, doesn't feel as uh, sharp or aggressive as some of the other blades. But it's really smooth. Still feels really, really smooth. So that's nice. I know uh, Abe really likes his Astras. And he's a two-a-day head shaver. So... Um, the astras must be really uh, nice for him. But yeah, this uh, Nivea men's cream, this Nivea Nivea men sensitive cream is uh, really nice. Good, good glide, good cushion so far. Um, we'll see how residual slickness and poche fill are. That's usually, uh, to me, where uh, a product sep separates itself is, um, on residual slickness and poche fill. And that's honestly, I know uh, Cincy Shaves just did a video using the Taylorville Bond Street Grapefruit, which I have a sample of, which smells absolutely fantastic. But that's my biggest uh, complaint with Taylorville Bond Street, is for the price, um, the poche fill is not that great. It just rinses off and doesn't really feel hydrating or comforting to your skin at all so I feel like for it being a higher on the higher end I mean fifteen fifteen dollars a tub isn't super expensive but it's also not a budget price and for that price you should get a better uh, clean off the runway there. Better post shape fill for the price. So anyhow, that's just my opinion on uh, Taylor Ball Bond Street. This uh, cross game pass is going really well. Hopefully uh, adding it in shortens up my touch up and with the grain passes so we'll have to see if that uh, is the case or if th or if it doesn't really have that big of an effect hopefully it does yeah the Astro Blade is So far, feeling really, really good. So, I've been going back and forth in my mind, debating pros and cons of which, what am I doing? Which razor I want to get next. And, uh, it was down between the Rockwell 6S or the Rockwell 6C and uh, read a lot of reviews on both, talked to people about both and I think I'm going to get the Rockwell 6C um, you know it's 50 bucks cheaper which means I can use that money on something else <laughs> that's the way I saw it. Most people said even people who were pro Rockwell 6S said as far as shave fill goes, the shave is very similar between the two. That you're not going to get 
that much of a difference between the 6s and the 6c. So, with that in mind, I thought, you know, save the 50 bucks, get some soaps or some blades or shoot, maybe even a different rate, another razor, you know. So, hopefully, sometime post Christmas, I'll be able to order one of the Rockwells. And I'll clean that, clean this area up better uh, when I go against the grain. Just putting some of this cream back on the back of my head film for any missed areas. One thing I'm impressed by this cream is it did not uh, dissipate at all. It stayed uh, pretty well through the whole uh, first pass. So happy about that as well. Sometimes a product can dissipate and, and thin out and this did not do that at all. All right, that was a good first pass going uh, cross grain. Obviously, not completely smooth, but not bad either. So, all right, let me get a little water. Feels good. So I'll leave my head a little little wet so when I apply for this pass it'll be a little slicker. Little not worried so much about the cushion as I am the glide now. So I always uh leave a little water on my head after rinsing so you can put a little more moisture into the into the soap and let it have a little more glide than that thick cushion you want on the First pass. Just thin it out a little bit. Yeah, just very light scent. And it actually matches the Nivea Men Sensitive uh, Balm, the Pochade Balm. So if you've used that or smelled that, the soap matches that really I mean it is the same scent so but very very light it is a very light scent So I got a question for you guys. I got some buddies at work who uh, are thinking about starting up wet shaving. And what, in your opinion, if you could go back in time to when you first started wet shaving, what products would you choose differently? Um, my first products were the McCurr Future <laughs> with the Astra Superior Platinum Blades, um, the Razor Rock Plus Soft Synthetic Brush, and Taylor of Old Bond Street Sandalwood. And everything was great, but the Future. I probably wouldn't get a Future as my first 
uh, razor. Um, well, it's a good razor. I'm not saying it's not a good razor. I don't know how well it is as a beginner razor. Kind of a baptism by fire, if you will. Throwing you out to the wolves. You, you learn how to shave real quick with one of those. So, um, anyhow. That being said, what, what do you guys think would be a good starter? Razor, blade, soap, brush. Do you think a, a badger is a good start? Um, do you think synthetics are the way to go? To kind of get your feet wet, learn the ropes, then get a badger or boar or natural hairbrush. Um, and what about razor? Do you think a adjustable, uh, um, you know, what do you think would be a good start? I know Razor Rock has a few, the Tech 2 and the DE1, which are supposed to be really good, really mild, but give a good shave, and they're really cheap. I think they're both under $10. Anyhow, what do you guys think? Let me know. As far as soap, cream, um, brush, razor, blades, And I really like this Maggard open comb as well for head shaves. I don't use it on my face too often. I'm going to have to do some face shaves with it. Maybe when I do my beard shave off I'll use this and see how it does. Filling just a little bit of cream off the brush. That care for a spot I missed. A little water. A little water on my hand. What kind of residual slickness we got? Not bad. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Wow, that's feeling good. Alright, I'm gonna put a little water. Oh, right there, still a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna put a little water on and, uh, do a touch up pass and this is going really well. Really, really well. So I just uh, squeezed out some of the soap from the brush. There's still some more down in there I could fill, but 
just kind of doing a kind of what Andy the Northern Shaver on his final pass he'll lather up and then squeeze the excess out of the out of the brush and kind of rub it on it's kind of doing a hybrid version of that So this is where we'll see if the Astra um, keeps up with the Feather and Balzano as far as uh, efficiency on these cleanup passes. The Feather and Balzano are super efficient. This is going well, going really well. I think the word I'd use to describe this uh, combo right now is comfortable. It is just very um, easy, smooth, comfortable shaving. Maybe not quite as efficient as the feather, but it's definitely more comfortable than the feather, without a doubt. So, sometimes, you know, feeling that nice, sharp closeness is, is nice too. Man, this left side of my head is always harder for me. I don't know if the hair grows at different angles over here or what, but it is always harder for me to get it down than the right side. The right side, usually I can get down pretty quick, get smooth. But that left side, for some reason, just takes me a while. I know, uh, oh, and Thank you to all the new subscribers. Really appreciate it. Um, Harry Toe Knuckles, I think was his uh, uh, name. Harry Toe Knuckle um, said the right side of his head is always his problem side. And man, my left side just, I don't know why, just, just is a little bit, just makes me work a little more to get it where I want it.
I think we just about got it. Oh yeah. So I would say the Astra is not quite as efficient as some of the other blades, but definitely a comfortable um, comfortable blade to use, without a doubt. And I could see if you did a every day, every other day head shave had less growth, it probably Oop. Uh, yep. Got me. Just a little nick right there. Little. Yeah, I'm just a little bump that I got. Well, that's probably probably a good sign to stop there. All right, I'm gonna clean up this area, trying to even it up. Let's try doing this first. Sled head. I don't know if you watched this, Bill. I don't know if I've ever watched you uh, real closely when you've done your sideburn area. But I'm gonna have to watch that a little closer to see how you do that. Cause this is not super intuitive. It's weird coming at it from the other direction you know if you're starting here it's easy to make that line and shave down but coming down to a line feels a little different yeah, that definitely is not Alright, that's pretty good. Alright. <laughs> there we go. Sorry for that close-up work. But, now you rinse real quick. All right, I'm going Allen block. And that's what I expected. There is absolutely zero feedback so far from the Allen. We'll see on the back of my neck. In the back of my head area. There is absolutely no feedback whatsoever. That That is... Um, nothing. So that's nice. Abe, I can see why you use the Astra as your daily driver. That is, uh, really, really nice. So, alright guys, I'm gonna finish off here. I'll show you what I'm gonna use to end the shave and then let you go. This one's around a little longer than I thought. So I'm going to use my witch hazel uh, with some tea tree in it and then finish it off with the Nivea Men Sensitive Cooling Poche Balm and yeah they smell exactly the same. This has a little bit stronger scent but I'm really impressed with that Nivea Men. That was a good, good shave, a good cream. Um, lathered up well. We'll see post shave what post shave fill is like but uh performed really well had good slickness um so i'm, I'm happy I'm, I'm really happy and the astra and the the astra superior platinum and the maggards open comb was really re really a good combination very comfortable uh felt really good so 
All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully everybody's doing well. Please be safe. Please be kind. Uh, have a good day, and we'll talk to you guys later. Roll Tide.